Hello and welcome to St Dennis Church here in Evington. My name's Reverend Anthony. Normally at this time of year we'd be welcoming lots of children from our local schools into the church to learn about the Christian festival of Easter. But we can't do that again this year. So what we've done is we've turned the church inside out and created a special trail around the churchyard which you can come and have a look at in your own time. In this video I'm going to tell you a little bit more of the story of Easter as well as show you around the churchyard so that you know what to expect when you come. But before I do, uh, this season that we're now in is known as Lent, a special season for Christians. Many Christians will fast or give something up like chocolate or meat. Others will take something up like prayers or special prayers or studying the Bible in groups. In fact, here at St Dennis, we've got three groups meeting each week during Lent to learn about why Christians should care for creation. These daffodils in front of the church are a great reminder of the beauty of creation. Some of you may have helped to plant them for, to celebrate our 800th anniversary a couple of years ago. All around us we can enjoy the beauty of creation and during Lent this year as a church we're thinking a bit more about why it's important that we look after the world that God has made. Before I show you round the trail outside, I've come into the church to show you our Jesus window here behind me. This window tells us in pictures about Jesus. You can see pictures of the first Christmas when Jesus was born and you can see pictures of the end of Jesus's life when he died on the cross and that's the part of the story that Christians remember especially on Good Friday and Easter Day and that I'm going to read a little bit to you now. This is the story of Easter by Tim Dowley. There was an important festival in Jerusalem and Jesus went with 12 special friends, his disciples. He borrowed a donkey and rode into Jerusalem. The crowds became very excited. They shouted and waved palm branches. But some of the priests hated Jesus and plotted to kill him. On the day of the festival, Jesus ate a special supper with his disciples in an upstairs room. Jesus broke bread and gave it to his disciples but one disciple, Judas, was plotting against him. He crept out. After supper, Jesus took his disciples to a garden outside the city. Stay here and pray, he told them. Jesus prayed too. And then a crowd of Jesus' enemies appeared, led by Judas, and the soldiers took Jesus away. They stood Jesus before the Roman ruler, Pilate. Jesus is a troublemaker, said the priest. He should be killed. I can find nothing wrong with him, said Pilate. But the people shouted, kill him, kill him. So Pilate sent Jesus to die. Cruel men pushed a crown made of thorns on Jesus' head and they led him out of the city. When they reached a hill, soldiers nailed Jesus to a wooden cross and they also fixed two robbers on crosses either side. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. One robber asked, Jesus, remember me. And Jesus said, today you will be with me in heaven. At midday, the sky went dark. Jesus cried out and died. Jesus' family and friends watched sadly. A good man called Joseph took jo Jesus' body and he put it in a rock tomb and rolled a huge stone across the door. Early on Sunday morning, women went to the tomb the stone was rolled away, but they couldn't see Jesus's body. Suddenly, two shining men stood there. Jesus isn't here, said one. He is risen from the dead. The women rushed back to tell the disciples, and at first they didn't believe the women. But then Jesus appeared to them too. And after this, he appeared to many of his friends. Once he cooked breakfast for his disciples beside a lake. And a few weeks later, Jesus was taken up into heaven again, and the disciples watched. At Easter, we remember that Jesus died, but we also remember that he is alive forever. To help us all explore that story this year, we've created this special trail. When you arrive at the church, you'll see this board with all the instructions and information that you need. And then around the churchyard, you'll find a whole series of other boards or stations numbered from one to 15. And at each one, there is a photograph from a local area and a short passage from the Bible to tell the story about Jesus's last days. 
If you have a smartphone, you can use the QR code here to find a series of short reflections to listen to as you go around. And on your way, you'll also find a wonderful, colourful cockerel, a reminder of the part of the story after Jesus was arrested and one of his friends, Peter, said that he'd never heard of any Jesus and a cockerel crowed just as Jesus said it would. When you've finished visiting each of the stations around the churchyard, you should end up here by the Easter garden. Many Christians create a special garden at Easter, not usually as big as this one, but it will normally include a cross to remember Jesus's death and some kind of tomb to remember when he came back to life on Easter day. Here you can also see the soldiers sent to guard the tomb, some of Jesus's friends known as disciples and even Mary, his mother. If you come back after Easter Day, you'll find this scene has changed too. So keep an eye out for it if you're passing. And if you make an Easter garden at home, we'd love to see a picture of it. And finally, one of the other ways in which Christians celebrate Easter is with eggs, usually chocolate ones, yum. Many Christians also have an egg hunt on Easter Day. and We usually do here at St Denis. This year, what we've done is we've asked members of the church family to paint and decorate eggs to hide around the churchyard. And when you come and visit, you might be able to find them. There are at least 12 of them hidden around the churchyard. I wonder if you can find where they all are when you come. You can see one just here above my head. Now, I really hope you'll be able to come down and visit over the next few weeks. The trail will be here until the end of April, so you've got plenty of time. And when you do, why not let us know that you've been by sending us a message on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We'd love to see your photos and hear which part of the trail was your favourite and, and how many eggs you managed to find. But whatever you're doing this Easter, with all the signs of spring around us, take good care and stay safe and we look forward to seeing you soon.